Derek, let's look at this assignment that you sent in here. Um, when you click on a button there, I clicked on the entrances, here's your entrance and you don't have the right time between arrivals there. I sent you a note that uh, the arrivals are defined as a Poisson arriving at 75 per hour. You need to convert that to an enter arrival time by first converting it to the number of, of people per um, hour and then uh, taking the reciprocal of that. You should end up with exponential 0.8 there and you just get the drop down and then put in the 0.8 there. I'm going to return the control panel here. Look at your decision points. So you name the decision point, and that's where you manually get in there as 0.1 and 0.2. But let's go over here to the buffer, and the buffer you typed in decision one or decision two. What you need to do is on any of those, when you click on it, you get a drop down, and then you can see the available titles there. Any of that you've typed in, which of course those don't really exist. And what you want to do is select one that exists. That's why I say, you know, go quickly through the whole setup, create all the elements that you can think of, and then when you get ready to, to identify the outputs, they will show up here. See, now you've got those additional ones that don't work. I'm going to go ahead and click on that one, and I'm going to click on that one. Those are upside down. But that's how you uh, pick things instead of typing them in. Go to Control Panel. You don't want any exit. I gave you a note about that. You need to get rid of this, so I'm going to delete that. Click on that, delete that, click on that, delete that, so you've gotten rid of the exit. Exits are only needed if you have to limit things leaving the process, like on a bus or a delivery truck or something. Let's look at your um, workstation, and you've got that set up pretty well. Let's look at your output, and I don't see. Let's see, did you already change that? Let me go back to buffers. No, see, you don't have a buffer there for exit. I'm going to create one. Served customers, unlimited capacity, initial object zero, and that will be your exit. Now I can go back here to workstations. And I want to go to served uh, because that's the the real exit there. Now your resources. See, you, there is no resource named kiosk. I don't unless you you set one up. You click on other features, resources. Say you don't have that set up. I'm gonna call him server one. We've got one of those and. Server 2, we've got one of those because we've got one person for each pair of workstations. Go back, control panel, go to my workstation, and now I really want server 1. Server 1, let me go over here. Server 2. Server 2. So I think you're set up there pretty well on your workstations. Interests, let me just go ahead and put that in there and you can, okay. Control panel, workstations, okay. Decision points, I think that was really, uh, wasn't it uh, 40? 60, well, you can play around with those. I'm going to 40, 60. Turn to control panel. And let's see if I've got it set up right. Whoops. Work session 2 has output not defined. Let's go back to workstation. And, oh, we've still got these served customers. we got to set those all to the real one. Served. I think now I've got them all set up. Return to control panel. Decision point two output not defined. So let's go to decision point and Z. 
just look at the model the way I, I changed it. We've got the simulation, 120 simulations for, well, that would be two minutes, two hours, I'm sorry, because it's six, it were minutes, 30 simulations, the door entrance, exponential 0 0.8, value one, normal, value two, normal, custom two, normal, and it goes to served. We've got two resources there. We've got our waiting line buffer and our exit buffer, and we got our decision point one and two. So I think we can go back to the control panel, run simulation. It's running, view results, and there's your results.